Eric Alverson here. Uh, in the previous tip, I showed you guys how to uh, catch our pre-spawn bass uh, on a jerk bait. And uh, so I snuck in this little pocket to get out of the wind and guess who fo is following me around? It's Jacob Wheeler. What's up, Jake? What's up, guys? <laughs> Enough of that. I'm gonna show you how to, the little tricks that I do to this little jerk bait. I love these live targets. They're just so realistic. I love how they start with a with a, a clear base, and then they've got this bait ball right here. Um, really, really good in clear water. What I do is a little bit different than what a lot of people do. You hear people waiting their jerk baits, trying to get them to suspend. Well, the live target. Um, it suspends perfectly out of the package. It comes with great hooks, but there's a lot of different brands um, out there. Uh, we'll take into consideration this one. This is a, uh, we'll use this one. This is a Japanese version. Again, a real popular mega bass. And a uh, couple different things that I do. I prefer a slow sinking jerk bait. Not a lot of people like this. A lot of people want a suspend and jerk bait. And I think a lot of the reason why I really like to weight mine down a little bit is, is when you think about it, when you're throwing a jerk bait, typically it's during a, a, a shad kill uh, or, or you're fishing pretty fast. So when a shad dies, it really just doesn't sit there. It kind of flutters and then falls a little bit. So uh, it works for me. Uh, another way is uh, as I'm fishing extremely fast a lot. I'm covering lots of water, I'm ripping it. Again, we fish a lot of smallmouth lakes. Um, they want a reaction strike, so I'm really jerking that thing hard. So to compensate for the drop, I'm, I'm fishing it fast, so I'm really keeping it kind of in that suspended zone, but it really just fits my style of fishing. I'm, I'm fishing fast, so I want that bait to sink a little bit slower so it stays in that six to eight foot zone. So in this bait, a lot of the new manufacturers, especially the Japanese brands, spend a lot of uh, pay a lot of attention to detail. They come with great hooks right out of the package, but I still like to tweak it a little bit. I feel like I have to I have to have some kind of an edge. So what I'll do is uh, Storm has uh, has made suspended dots and suspended strips for a long time. A lot of people have have used lead to wrap around your hooks. I've never been a big fan of that. Um, one of those reasons was, um, you know, you'll hook a fish and you got all that lead around the shank. Uh, they have tendency to pull off. I want all, uh, all the bite that I can get on these fish. But uh, when you're adding these suspended dots, I've had some of these for years, um, but the adhesive is really, really good. Um, you know, in the winter time, it's hard to, to, to put these on when you have cold fingers or when you're in the winter time. Um, it's cold and rainy out and, and a lot of times the adhesive doesn't want to stick. So do this at home. Um, when you guys have cabin fever, go through all, get your jerkbait box out, go through them, um, weight them at that point, you know. Um, everybody has a bathtub at their house, everybody has a sink. <laughs> Believe me, everybody, I have cabin fever worse than anybody. If I'm not in the deer woods, I'm, I'm wading baits and changing hooks and different stuff. But uh, that's how I, find, I found out, um, you know, how many suspended dots, how many strips, how much weight I needed to get exactly what I wanted. So, and you know, another thing that you need to think about too is most of the time we're throwing a jerk bait in cooler water. So, you know, when you're, when you're filling your bathtub up, when you're filling your sink up, don't fill it up with hot water because the density of the water is gonna be a little bit different. So always fill it with, with cooler water, you know, 50 to 60 degrees or just cold water, uh, and you get a lot truer um, rate of how this thing is gonna fall or suspend. I put one little suspended dot on the throat of this thing, and, um, and when you throw that out, it'll kinda sink head first, real, real slow. But one thing that I do is I go up a, a hook size. These are number fours, I go to number fives. And this is a, a Gamma Katsu round bend hook. These things are so strong. When you get them hooked up like to a log or a stick or you get them hung up, they just don't pull free. Because a lot of times when you pull those hooks free, it weakens your hook. These things, you're probably gonna lose a bait. <laughs> they just don't bend. But anyway, when you hook one on a round bend, they don't come off but they also weigh more than a, a number four and then some of the lighter size hooks is that mega bass produces on their baits. Let me show you exactly what this uh, bait looks like in the water. I'm just gonna flip it over here and you can see without twitching it or anything, how it's just floating down. That's exactly what you want right there. When it's just sitting there, it'll sink. So when you twitch it, It'll rise a little bit and then it'll slowly start to sink. 
and you're all the while you're you're staying in that strike zone even when you're pulling it up on the you know the 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 back third of your cast when you're almost done with your cast um, you know your your jerk bait will tend to rise up but if it's weighted it'll stay down there longer uh, even at the last minute so those fish that are that you're trying to coax at the very end are going to hit right you get a lot of strikes right at the boat and that's because i believe that it's staying in that strike zone a little bit a little bit further so i hope that helps on your next on your next trip to the lake when you're trying to catch a pre-spawn bass on a jerk bait. Devin Rood's user-friendly marine displays are the result of exhaustive testing and have been designed by passionate people who live and breathe boating. To learn more, check out an Evan Rood dealer near you. This isn't social media, this is the real world. This is, here, okay? this is where you really gotta catch a fish.